Hi, Vey. Why do I want to be Jewish? There you go, Rabbi, asking about motivations. They Christians trust the heart. We Jews trust the law. Why do I want to be Jewish? Does not my every deed scream out, I am a Jew? My every action is governed by God's immutable moral law. I'm a little tired, a little punchy. Um, so I'm hitting the diet green tea with ginseng. No calories. I've always wanted to uh, to be part of uh, you know something really grand. Like when I was a kid, I wanted to be like George Washington and King David and Abraham Lincoln and Winston Churchill. And so I've always wanted to have like a world transforming career. I've always wanted to like affect the world, change the world for the better, fight evil and do good. And and uh, when I and I was never that excited about Christianity, so I, I looked into communism. And, you know, that kind of excited me for a couple of years, and I thought, heck, I can be a communist and I can sleep with as many women as I want to. But then I listened to, to Dennis Prager on KBC Radio. And he was just so smart, so wise. He's like this wonderful father figure for me. And he was so nice to me, so profound. Like he answered my letters and, and it was just, he was just great at a time when I really needed a moral leader in my life. Cause I had chronic fatigue syndrome and I was desperate. And, uh, so it was Dennis Prager who turned me on to Judaism. And then I read this book, the nine questions people ask about Judaism written by Prager and his best friend, Joseph Telushkin. And, uh, and I saw that Judaism was a step-by-step -step system for making a better world. And I thought, yeah, like communism has its theories about how to make a better world, but there's no individual moral training. Individual moral training is what we need most because what we all want most is to be treated good by other people. So how do we get people to treat other people good? You have to morally educate people because people are naturally good. So there are some questions in the uh, chat room. Is Dennis Prager a good kisser? I don't know, no personal experience. Um, he's a good hugger. So do Jewish women kiss better? I'm not sure the first amazing kisser I had was a, was a 14 year old Shiksa. So this book turned me on to Judaism as this world transforming system. And uh, I just took off from there and look at everything I've accomplished. Look at who I am.